Put Lolly on the fancy guitar. I know he's fast, he's fast. <laughs> um, I love I love playing this next song. I don't get to really play this next song, but this is uh, from Fireworks and Karate Supplies. And it's, um, first maybe I should tell you a story about a lady at the post office for just a second. I went to the post office the other day. I mean, I went to the post office, bought a sheet of stamps for eight dollars and something cents. Went over to the little thing, took off two stamps, put them on the things, put them in the thing. I left without my book of stamps. And then I was like, oh, I forgot my stamps. I went back in, they're gone. So I went up to the lady at the counter and I go, Betty, did somebody give you a book of stamps? She goes, yes. How many stamps are missing? It's like, Betty. <laughs> I said two. She goes, there's three missing. And I go, she took one. <laughs> And she did. She said she just turned it in, and I go, I know who it was, and she had kids. <laughs> it's like that. She stole a stamp from. It's like she couldn't just go hear somebody. She actually went <sighs> here and kept a stamp. I don't know. And then I went out to get in my car, and there she was over there, and she was like, hi, and I was like, hi. <laughs> Stamps here. <laughs> so if that lady was here today, I'd sing this song to her, kind of. This is a, actually, this is a song about forgiveness, and my husband tries to remind me. It's the people who don't ask you for your forgiveness when they do something really crappy to you that you really have to exercise. It's really, it's great when somebody comes to you and says, I'm sorry, I was such an ass. You're like, you love that because you're like, you want to forgive them. You don't want to be mad at people. You want people to like just come up and go, it was my fault and I'm sorry I stole your stamp. <laughs> and then you're like, I forgive you. And it's great. But when you're walking around and you have like that thing where like, do they know they did me wrong? Yes, they know. And for some reason, some people can't say they're sorry and they can't ask for forgiveness. And so had a situation like that recently, not the stamp lady, but something more heavy. And um, my husband just sometimes listens to me talk. I'm, I'm sure I'm really fun to live with, but he's just being, and he's like really profound sometimes. And he's just like, you need to just forgive her. She's not gonna ask you, you just need to, you always talk about it. Why don't you just do it? I was like, oh, <laughs> all right. And so then I did, I kind of like let go of it. It's like. We'll do it. I'll do it. And I uh, actually got a, a phone call just a couple days ago, and it made me happy because I'd already let go of it, and it was this person. They didn't ever say anything about the thing, and that was okay. It's like I let it go, but I wrote a song about them. <laughs> I didn't write it right then, but it's like I have this song, and it's like I always know who it's to, and it's like it, it's to different people all the time. But the best part of the song is that it's got some humor in it, and that is my way of getting through. So the way that I handle stuff is like, I know there's got to be something funny in this. Maybe there's a song. So this is called Redeeming, and it's for anybody who's ever dated anybody in prison also. <laughs> As we all have. <laughs> And I know that if you say you haven't, I know that you have. I used to tell my mom this. Oh, she was just like, why do you pick the guys you pick? I'm like, everybody picks these guys. She's like, no, they don't. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where you've been, but the people available to me have all been in prison. <laughs> the fun ones. I'm like, I'm not gonna go out and just, you know, eat dinner. I have got to do something criminally insane. <laughs> or at least witness something criminally insane. Because I have songwriting to do in a few years. I need some ammo. <laughs> Oh, 
he's taken his everything. And all that's left is what's left of me. So guess say you're a criminal just like me. See you
Thank you.